and keyboard shortcut um, that kind of no one needs and I wanted to document this before I forget so I use three keywords I use English Spanish and Korean so let's see I'm uh, using usually I'm using the Korean keyboard and I can type Korean in it and the Korean keyboard by itself ships with an English language mode without having to switch to the English keyboard you can, within the Korean keyboard you can click here right here or it's the right right alt key uh, to switch between the two and now you can type English even though you're in the Korean keyboard all right and then I have the English keyboard and then I have a Spanish keyboard and the reason I have the Spanish keyboard is uh, here is because <clears throat> in the Spanish keyboard you can type all the special characters but um, uh, all the special characters in the Spanish keyboard have a different location or most of them have a different location from the English so I can't really type uh, normally on the Spanish keyboard so I need to switch back <clears throat> And Windows 10 departed. Windows 10 departed from Windows 7 um, in that they introduced this system. Uh, so before in Windows 7, you manage your keyboard separately and your display language separately. Now they pack that into one. So if you're going to have a keyboard, you also need to install the display configurations, even though you can have primary keyboard. So here I have the Korean language pack, and I could make the whole menu system into Korean, but uh, I can make the English the main you know, display. I can't put the Korean in. The Korean will throw me off, and I wouldn't know where things are as the Windows display language. However, this means that I must have the English keyboard on the system installed. Um, even though I don't need the English keyboard because as I showed earlier the Korean keyboard ships with the with the English keyboard So I don't need a separate uh, Korean keyboard and this throws off my workflow because before um, In Windows 7 I only had English I mean Korean and Spanish keyboards and I could switch between the two uh, with one shortcut alt shift and I have to worry about which language I'm in. Like I type, I'm not in the right keyboard, I press Alt Shift, I'm in the, in the keyboard I want. So it's very natural. Now, when they introduce this feature, now it means I need to have English in order to, in order to display the, the screen in English. And that means I end up with three, three languages, English, Spanish, and keyboard. And now the Alt Shift is no longer a toggle. Now the Alt Shift is, um, it rotates between the three keywords. And that really made the workflow hard. As I shift between languages a lot. Um, and the workaround I came with is I discovered that a language can have multiple keyboard layouts. And I was like, aha, you can install a Spanish language keyboard layout into the English language. I'm like, okay, that's, and then that makes, leaves me two keyboards. Wait, does it leave me two keyboards? Yes, only two keyboards. And now I can go back to using the Alt Shift as a toggle instead of oh my god so much background information but anyway as a toggle instead of um rotating between the three in which it, in your mind it's harder to keep to follow that um and today i discovered the weirdest keyboard shortcut so this keyboard shortcut um people are used to using the alt shift as a key as a language switch and korean keyboard users are used to using the app right hand side out as a English Korean switch um, however this trigger so the way let's let's show it so I press the left shift and then now I press left control without releasing the shift ah, and to keep it pressed and then I release the left shift wait wait what it's not working anymore <laughs> Uh, what? <clears throat> oh, wait. Oh, holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> so, first, I need to be on the language where I have multiple keyboard layouts, which is English. 
And now I press left shift, press control, and release the left now. And now this thing shows up. This thing shows up and lets me choose between the two layouts. And I guess just as an extra, it also shows me the additional language, which is not linked to the current language. And I can, while I'm, I need to keep the control key pressed, and while I have it pressed, I need to press the left, I can press the left sheet to, I guess, to cycle through all the keyboard layouts I have in that language. The other language doesn't, does, it's not selectable using the keyboard. I guess I need to click it using the mouse. Let's test it. Yes. Okay, that's what it does. <laughs> I discovered this accidentally because my finger slipped quickly from the shift to the control. <laughs> and it, show, it still shows it, I guess. Um, and I guess this is a little bit handy uh, if you're managing. Let me, let me add another keyboard and see if it does. Okay, I added three now. Okay, just wrote cycle through, which is expected. Um, I'm like, huh, this is useless, uh, but I guess I could use it. However, I looked into the settings further and I discovered that I can remove the English keyboard altogether from the English language configuration. And now I only have one keyboard in the English language, which is Spanish. So, it no longer triggers. <laughs> and now I can switch to Korean to get the Korean and the English. And I can switch to English to get the Spanish. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to document this. Now let's Google this and see if it's if this is documented online. How do I even search for this? Okay, how to <laughs> which keyboard shortcut to use in Windows 10 to cycle through between different keyboard layouts of the current language pack maybe does it show nope Wind Windows space control sh oh Oh, it is documented already three years ago. Wait, I need to hide this layer now. Firefox. Okay, there we go. Control Shift to switch. Wait. Windows space to cycle between languages. Windows and space. Oh, look at that. There's even more useless. Or are they useless? I don't know. Why are they using left out shift? Oh, they changed the shortcut. Okay, so I'm going to add one more here. Okay. And now I'm going to use Windows. Ah. So window space cycle through. Let's see, let's see. There. Oh, interesting. Super useless. All right, so control shift does that. Windows plus space cycle through all your keyboard layouts and all your languages, regardless of what your current language is. So that's nice i guess and i guess i would do this i guess you'll do this even though if, if you had only one language only one keyboard in the windows lang english language let's see this person control shift living the same language culture okay control shift wait is it happening Oh, I don't need to do this sequentially. So I don't need to do shift and then control, control and then release the shift. I can just do control and shift at the same time. 
and that will just switch between the two, I see, um, without showing me the layer. Wow, there's so many shortcuts with language switch in Windows 10. And they're documented. Okay, they're documented as well. Oh, you can customize it. Interesting. Wow, so many settings. So much customization, man. Huh. Okay. All right, that's that's good. All right. Uh, I made a, I thought only I discovered it, but it is documented. And there's even more useless shit <laughs> for language switching in Windows. Uh, the more you know. All right, that's all. Bye.